Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend set. It's the Pittsburgh Pirates taking on the Miami Marlins. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. And we got a rubber match on our hands today, partner. Yeah, the final game of a three-game set. They've split the first two, and regardless of how important a series is within the larger picture of the season, it's a game you want to get up for. Every series win feels good, so we should see a fun matchup in this one. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Up next for the Pirates, Eric Stevens. Homered in the ball game yesterday afternoon. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Fought off foul. Now, Contra, an all star a season ago, he features a changeup, a sinker, a four seamer, a slider, and he occasionally uses a curve. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. Batting four. And the that knock bumps his hitting streak Bobby. into double digits, no Chris. He's hitting 10 straight. Yeah, and on a nice trajectory, average going up, OBP, everything he's doing at the plate right now just seems to be working. And at first, next to bat will be the Pittsburgh cleanup hitter, Bobby Dahlbeck. Homered last night at high fly ball near the pole. That one is foul. Well, that ball is hit pretty hard and sure had home run distance, but if you're the pitcher out there on the mound, you execute it. Just a long strike, you go after him and finish him off. Pitch misses there, and a full count now. That one ripped back there. And it's off the wall. The run scores from first, extending their lead. It's 3-zip. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. So one out with two aboard. Eric Stevens digs in now. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed, quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? He's like Mike Trout. You figure whatever you put in his hand, whether it's a bat, whether it's a golf club, whether it's a basketball, he can do it and get it done. And a rare talent, so much fun to watch. Hammered on a line to the left, base hit. Crawford, around third. He will score, and the lead is up to five. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. So the Marlins go with a new arm, Braxton Garrett. And we all know about his slider. It's just now filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Swing and a miss. Hey, stick your plan up there, kid. Get your pitch and drive it. The 2-2 two -two on the way. And another ball. Miami's bullpen with some action. Devin Smeltzer up and loosening in the pen. The pitch. And that's ball four. Now a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to play off some really close pitches and Somehow, Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable.
And he deals. Strike two. Matthew Ross umpiring behind home plate for us in this one. He's got a reputation for having a bit of a wide strike zone, Chris. Yeah, no doubt, Boog. He rewards pitchers when they're working the edges and sometimes a little bit beyond that. So for the hitters, just have to really be aware. Don't miss your pitch when you get it early in the count. What about an umpire's height? How much of a role does that play in your experience and what the strike zone is like? Yeah, I think it pushes the strike zone up a little bit, which, you know, as a former hitter, you like that. You wanted the ball up. You didn't want to have to deal with stuff down in the zone consistently. 2-2 two -two now. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well hobbies listed just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit <laughs> that's great ball four he's walked in a run well that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk very gritty jackson holiday will hit next he's over one stevens the runner at third dahlbeck on second triantos at first one gone Pitch, the pitch. Let's go, drive it. That misses the zone. Two balls, two strikes. Got him swinging. No need to deviate from the slider right there. The hitter just not making the adjustment. He came at him with the breaking ball. Pitch after pitch in that at bat, and evidently there was no answer for it. Here's the shortstop at the play. Brooks Lee. And a 1-2. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. In the dirt. But no advance from the runners. All right, one time. Two outs. Bases are full. And now it's 3-2. and two. Drive that pitch. Oh, here we go. Here's a high chopper. Fires over to Crone. And that'll do it. Two runs in the inning, but they strand three. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Pirates six and the Marlins nothing. Jazz Chisholm Jr. Now. now. He's over one. Jazz. Here's a 1-1. That's towards center. Stevens drifts towards it. Puts the squeeze on that one. And that's the inning. Nothing doing for the Marlins. The lead remains five. It's 6-1. Start of the fourth at the plate for Pittsburgh. Eric Stevens. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. Garrett back to work. And a foul ball. When you have a real athletic player and who's able to do the baseball mechanical things really well, look out because the sky's the limit on that potential. Swing and a ball popped up. Start makes the grab one down. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball, right? Luis Arise stands in. Baseman, 0 for 1 with a fly. Oh, yes. 3 2 now. High fly ball out to center field. Stevens under this one makes the catch, and there's one gone. Here's a big power oh, threat. Eric Stevens. You talk Eric about the power and the speed Steven. together. Well, we knew he was going to be a stud just coming up, making his way through the minor leagues, and quickly at this level, an impact player. Ah, uh, let it fly. Better fly, big guy. Here we go. 
Lined into left center, and that should be extra bases. One run across, now two runs score. Another comes in to score, and they now lead by nine. Oh, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Absolutely hammered that baseball. Very loud coming off the bat. 107 was the exit velocity, and at that speed, it's going to be a great result more often than not. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Devin Smeltzer. Well, he's been a really tough guy to take deep this season. You usually have to string some hits together in order to get to him. Here's Bobby Dahlbeck. 2-1 pitch is in there, and the count is even. And the strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So good job of extending. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. Four runs in the inning. Two hits. One was a home run. No errors. And one left on. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Bucks 10 and the Marlins 1. One gone runner at first. And now the center fielder, Eric Stevens. And that one hammered. This one's got a chance. And he brings it into the warning track. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming uh -huh. open instead of staying. Jesus Sanchez getting ready to hit. This to center field. Stevens should have this one. Two away. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce now an outcome, it, it seems like, within the third or fourth Run pitch of just about every at bat. Now so next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Eric, Eric Stevens. Stevens. Almost drove one out of here last time up. Flied out to the warning track. On the ground, arise. They get the force, and that is that. So no run. And welcome back. Now the left fielder, Brian De La Cruz. No out, out towards right center field Stevens sizing this one up makes the grab one away up next for the Marlins the second baseman one down here's O'Neill Cruz the 0-1 that one is absolutely belted. Stevens raging back towards the wall. Back some more. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot. Turned around and made a nice catch. This was a huge win to take this series on the road before heading back home. You go home feeling good about yourselves you've got some good momentum but at home you also have a higher expectation to play well so they're going to have to maintain the focus because those fans are expecting a lot and your final 12-2 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding